I'm putting the cylinder head temperature probes in today and so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put a probe in the rear spark plug of both the front and rear cylinder. So the cylinder head probe is going to go in the aft plug or the plug closest to the rear of the airplane in both the front cylinder and the rear cylinder. So go ahead and take this spark plug out of here. Now there's a couple of things you got to do before you put this in there. The first thing is you want to take and put a little bit of anti-seize compound on your spark plugs. They do not come with it from the factory. So you're going to want to coat the threads just a little bit around the bottom here will be sufficient to work it up as you screw it in. Now there is a compression washer on the bottom here. Make sure that that compression washer stays on. There is a rubber grommet that will come out of the, uh, the shroud on the engine. So you want to put that around your wire. And then take your cylinder head temperature probe and seat it on the spark plug with the probe bent upwards like this. Then just go ahead and put her back down in the engine. And... Start it by hand. You always want to do these by hand. Take it down to where it's hand tight. If you use a, a tool, you run the risk or potential of cross threading the cylinder head. And you don't want to do that. Now, notice how this is coming up on the back side of the engine. Now, I'll just go ahead and take my spark plug wrench, which I pulled off and dropped on the floor. I tell you, I don't care how careful you are filming, unless you're a professional Hollywood studio, you're going to screw up. Life is going to do that to you. Now I'm just going to hold this wire here so it stays in place and then just tighten it down. Once it seats itself, just go down about a quarter of a turn and seat that plug into place. Now you can take and push this rubber grommet into place and I can tell you right now if you think you're going to push that cylinder plug down on there over that you've got another guess coming you just have to put it on like that and then get your plug wire in place push it down so that it's seated firmly make sure this stays in the back then you just take a little screwdriver and start feeding that grommet back down inside so that it'll go in and seal the spark plug and the cylinder. And I'm sure that that helps keep the moisture and stuff out of the area. Well that is a tight fit let me tell you. Okay. Now as this engine comes from the factory in fact, I'm going to go ahead and take this one out. It does not have anti-seize compound on the threads of any of the spark plugs. So it is a good thing to go ahead. Boy, this is, this is really a tight fit to get that back down in there. It's even harder to try and put the uh, spark plug wire the cap back in with this grommet on there. In fact, I'm almost convinced I'm not going to get this down in there. It's just too tight a fit. There we go. Maybe I am. Yeah, I got her in. Once you get the thing started, it pops right in. It's just getting it started is a lot of fun. The German engineering is so precise that there's no room for air. Okay, now, again, we'll just take and pull this spark plug out. Now this engine has two plugs in each cylinder because it's a backup system. You have magneto A and magneto B, one or two or however you want to number it. And if one of them goes out, the other one still supplies spark to the engine. So again, we're just going to take and put a little bit of this anti-seize compound on the ends of the thread. And I've got a little acid brush here that I'm using to 
brush it on with, get it down inside those threads. We'll put the plug back in the here. Again, we'll take her down to just finger tight to where it bottoms out. And take my spark plug wrench and quarter of a turn. That's all you need. Then we'll go ahead and put this grommet back in. And slide this down. Now I have found that trying trying to get these on over that grommet can be problematic. So maybe I could pull this one out. Ah, boy, I tell you, that is such a, a close fit. Push that down in there. There we go. I'll take my screwdriver here and kind of line it up because I got it off a little bit. All right. There we go. Now, let's see if I can slide this spark plug cap back down over that. It's going to be a interesting. Oh, too close. Very hard with that wire sticking out there. Nope, I pushed the gasket in. I guess the bottom line is I'm going to have to maybe cut a uh, thing in the back of this grommet to get it to fit, make room for that wire. <sighs> a million things when you're trying to do filming and you want it to be perfect and it ends up being normal everyday life that is screwed up. Now, I've noticed that one side of this grommet has been flattened. I don't know if that was done by the factory that built the engine or or what. I don't have a clue. So what I'm going to do is on, on the opposite side of that, I'm going to put a little cut in there, open that up, which should allow me to uh, put it around that wire and let that wire feed out and create a little more space. There, now we'll go ahead and put this rubber washer back on, or gasket, grommet, whatever you want to call it. I got a few choice names for it, but we'll have women and children watching this video. We have to be careful what we say. There we go. Now, that should work. Hey, look at that. Oh, good God, these Germans. They made this so dadgum precise. There you go. You can feel it when it, when that wire slips down, that cap engages the spark plug. You can feel it. It, it makes a definite feeling when it goes in. Okay. Again, make sure that the cylinder head temperature wire is coming up the back side of the plug, which keeps it out of the wind stream and keeps it from getting an erroneous reading on the temperature itself. Now, eventually, these are going to get dressed, and then I'll, uh, I'll clamp them together and bring them down here to the side on the bracket that I have made. We'll have an Adel clamp over here, and these wires will be held back and kept together. Cylinder head temperature wires are now in place, and this one has managed to slip itself around. Ah, boy, I tell you, you, I guess the bottom line is you just, you can't, that rubber grommet's not going to let those wires go on there without a, a fight, so I'll just take and clip that rubber. Good Lord, they must have made that out of some solid steel rubber. Good for cutting aluminum, not good for cutting rubber. And, uh, uh, 
How, how are we doing on the time there, Peter? 10.06. Oh, 10 let's 07. cut it off. 10 minutes is the max on YouTube 